One of the best ways to earn Robux is by getting hired to work on a game. Sometimes you can be paid a lot for even something really small and you don't need to be an expert developer to get hired. Sometimes someone might just need a small build or model for their game. So you're probably wondering one thing, where? There are a few places where you can get hired on Roblox and no matter where you go, you'll find thousands or possibly tens of thousands or more Robux for simple things for you to do on their games. Uh, the first one is the official one by Roblox, this is the Talent Hub. And the Talent Hub is unfortunately only open to certain developers who are already in the Roblox dev forum. But don't worry, there's other options. I'll be getting into those into a moment, including ones on Discord. So this one is the Talent Hub. Not only can you find jobs, you can also search for other people with the same skills as you. So I can search for building and I see a bunch of builders. You can also use this later once you have some funds for your own game to hire people. So right here is where you you want to be you want to be at the find job section so right here if you want to uncheck verified only you're going to want to be more careful about scams and just bad offers so if we scroll through here we can see that there's a lot of different jobs and we can filter these on the side so if you only have enough time to do a commission just do a commission and then a compensation type um let's just choose robux because that's just the easiest way some of you guys might have a paypal and um you can always do that if that works better for you i personally prefer to use paypal PayPal because I don't have to deal with DevX and everything and it's just a lot better for getting money. All right, so now we can search for skills here. So I'm going to search for modeling because modeling usually is a smaller thing. So we have this one for 120,000 Robux remaking old buildings in Horse Valley. Um, By the way, 120,000 Robux in DevX, that is around 450 US dollars. So that is a lot of money for a small project. Wow, this is, this is a really big game. 6,000 900 players so there's also a really cool aspect of making these things for other people's games that are huge you could get a lot of attention from making something on one of these games potentially the thing is this will take a lot of practice so make sure that you're grinding on your own projects before you try to get hired here watch some of my videos on my channel to learn the skills you need if you haven't already even work at a pizza place everyone knows work at a pizza place work at a pizza place is hiring a new uh, 3d modeler to make halloween furniture i actually have applied to this unfortunately i didn't really get a response back but i mean that's fine so there's a bunch of different skills in here if you're good at designing things you can design people's game pass icon and if you're good at gfx you can do that if you're good at scripting you can do that too so there's a lot of potential with the talent hub really new so they're going to be improving it once you get into the dev forum and the dev forum you do need to read for about a month straight but it's very interesting and all right so the next way that you can get hired is through discord servers there's a few main ones but the ones that i like are rodev and hidden devs and scripters cf so row devs is a server by the dev king you guys probably know who the dev king is he does a lot of scripting tutorials really great tutorials all that and right down here he his server has a looking for devs section people will post things looking for devs and you can also post your portfolio or images of your work in the for hire section trying to get hired the only thing about working for discord servers is you want to be really careful because there's a lot more scams and there's a good chance that a lot of these are also really really low low deals like not paying enough for your work so you want to be careful for that uh, generally just don't uh don't take percentage because uh, of course you can take percentage if you're getting robux too but getting percentage only isn't always a good option because you don't know if the game is going to be successful or not unless it's from a large successful developer that's a different story but they're probably not going to be doing percentage in the first place unfortunately a lot of these are really low pay as i said so you want to try and get into the talent hub but of course you could start out doing these in order to have some good examples to show people on the talent hub for your portfolio see so they're basically saying we need a medium-sized training center for 1500 robux if you guys don't know that's like five or six dollars that's barely anything because um well you're gonna be spending a few hours on this and that's like two dollars an hour one dollar an hour and you deserve more pay than that so just move on if you see something like that um someone looking for someone to make a highly detailed map uh, of course that you could take this if you are a newer builder because 10k will not be too bad that's like 50 dollars. it's okay to underprice a little bit when you're just starting out just so you can pump out a lot of examples for new 
people who will pay you more. Um, 10 levels for a speedrun game. You know, speedrun games are super simple, so this would be a great job to take. I'm sure this would only take you like an hour or two at most. It's good if you're a beginner. Again, this isn't that much Robux, but it'll help you get started. So make sure to check out the links in the description for a few good Discord servers. I personally would recommend trying to get in the talent hub as soon as possible because you will have a much better time. Check out my channel for more videos and join my Discord server to talk with other developers or just talk about anything, to be honest.